Hi, I'm Nate, and this is Photo Learningism. Krita 5 Beta is out, and we're going to look at one of the new features as a part of this new Tips and Tricks mini series, the Two Point Perspective. Let's do it now! So once again, I'm Nate. This is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get into this. We're going to hop into Krita. The beta for five is out. I would encourage you to go try it out. Understanding it is the beta, but it seems pretty close. And the dev team thinks that they're going to get the rest of the final version out by September, which they say don't hold them to that. But that's what they've announced. So uh, let's go with that for now. So I put it on there. The installation process does have a few hits and warnings along the way just to be aware that you might get a funny error on the way in. They do mention that on the install page, so it's good to take a look at that. If you haven't done that, just in the process of downloading and all those things actually do seem to go away after the initial load close and reopen because it has to upgrade its database and the profile settings and the cache and all that stuff. It just has to be rebuilt for the new uh, structure of the application. So be aware of that. Here we go. The two-point perspective, the, the idea of perspectives I don't think is new so much to Krita, but the two-point perspective is, and I wanted to show that off here on the workspace. So the tool is over here. It's kind of this crosshairs type of button. And once we have it, we do need to look at the tool options, which depending on how you've organized your dockers and workspace could be along here. I just, this is just where mine is. So tool options, two-point perspective, and to demonstrate that, I'm going to put a point here and a point here and start to move the mouse around from there. And you can see my two point perspective. It kind of runs off into infinity. And that is what I have. One more click will finalize it. And I do have some controls after the fact that appear. You have to look for this, whether I want to move it, I click and hold and I can reposition that. I can actually grab these individual axis points and I can make more adjustments. I can also add another perspective if I really wanted to. Uh, that gets kind of uh, <laughs> layered and complex, but you can move these other things. You can kind of see how messy that starts to look on top of each other. Uh, you can move these other elements to make sure that the, the horizon is as you like it. You can take it away. If it's too distracting in the moment, you can bring it back when you're ready, or if you're just done with it, you can just drop it all together. But it's a really fascinating addition where you can get a good sense of both the ground level and sky level horizontal points and perspective and paint on top of those. You get all the lines generated for you. Very simple, very powerful, very easy to get to. And again, it's non-destructive. It just works on top of what you're doing. You work your layer separately from this control. It's literally just an overlay tool that you work from. All right. So that is the quick and dirty. There will be more with Krita 5. I'm keeping these short and sweet because uh, <laughs> those are just more fun. And we'll be back at the next video. There's there's things that we've looked at before. If you haven't had a chance, go watch the video over there. What happened? My fingers worked over there on uh, the kind of the sneak peek of Krita 5 with some other features which I've touched on before, which are here and do look to be working fairly well. So get a good sense of what those are and we'll be back to look at those in the quick and easy and other videos. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that. Give me a thumbs up if this was useful to you and leave a comment, ask a question, become a part of the community of like-minded creators so we can share our experiences and become stronger together. Thank you so much for spending just a few minutes with me and learning something new about Krita. If you haven't downloaded it, by the way, it's free, it's open source. Try it out, you lose nothing by doing that. I can't recommend it enough. It does so many things between doing your illustration, your graphic design, and even supports a lot of raw photography editing. Not quite as deep as some tools, but the functionality is there in case you're looking to spread your talent across many different uh, mediums there. So try it out. Krita, I'll put a link in the description below for download. Thank you so much. I'll see you at the next video. Tips and tricks mini series about how to use the two point. Oh gosh, what's it called?